Number one introduces you to Ashibare foot sweeps, used many times in fighting. It is preceded by a punch to the face and body. The defender should step back sharply and block Shuto. Number two is an excellent attacking movement and gives the student a chance to practice hooking the opponent's leg, thereby unbalancing him. Hooking the inside or outside of a leg, especially against a larger opponent, can be exceptionally effective. A point to study carefully in number two is the transfer of your weight quickly from the front to the back foot. This movement should be done flowingly so as not to give your opponent an opportunity to counter-attack. Step forward and punch once to the face and once to the body. An important point to bear in mind is to keep your body upright as you finish the second punch. Some students have a tendency to anticipate the move in for the throw. You must move at the last split second. Your left hand grabs the back of your attacker's knee, your right hand across the body. Twist your hip and body as you throw him down. It is important that you move your knee around so your opponent does not land on it, as this would be dangerous.
This technique is an excellent way of practicing the Iraq and back fist strike and knee and elbow strikes. The first movement must be done fast, so as your opponent has not time to counter your Arakan, which is aimed for the temple. Your right hand must follow up fast to cover as you go to punch Kakazuki. Rubbing your opponent's left shoulder, pull him down onto your upcoming knee and finish off with a strike with your right elbow to the neck. <laughs> 